So we stayed in a parking lot again last night, but <laughs> it is not a Walmart parking lot. Uh, we stayed in the parking lot at Pioneer Park in Fairbanks, Alaska. And uh, this is kind of like a, a lot of these cities have like a city hub kind of park. And that's what this is. Really neat area because they've tied in some history with playgrounds and other stuff. So there's actually quite a few RVs that park here. It's maybe 20-ish last night. A few have left already. And it's uh, used to be free, but it's 12 bucks a night now. But And it's just a parking lot. You can fill on water before you come in. For us, well worth 12 bucks because we have access to this park. And then there's some fresh water if we need it, close in town. And it's way quieter than the Walmart in Fairbanks. <laughs> that place was loud. <laughs> Do you sleep all around here? Yeah, this is a great spot. It's quiet and walking distance to Pioneer Park, which is great for Hensley. <laughs> No one's here. I <laughs> know. No, no they cleared out, Do you didn't see they? It? Come visit us at Kitty Hensley House. Kitty huh. Hensley House. Did you know that Hensley was mommy's name? And that's where we got your name. That was mommy's maiden name. It's really special to us. And then what they've done over here, I think this is like sourdough way or whatever, but they've actually um, shipped in these old cabins and then turn this into kind of like a little town with little businesses and stuff like that, which aren't open right now. They do open these. There's a husband oh, waiting here. The yeah. <laughs> Kitty Hensley House. Stand in the doorway. Get me. This is a cute little cabin. It's a blow duck. <laughs> that's, a big, that's a big duck. And that's a big raven. <laughs> wow. Uh, they also have a um salmon bank yeah i saw yeah. bus after bus yeah. yesterday coming in so on the other side of the park is where the salmon bank stuff is but a lot of the, i know a lot of the RVers probably are walking to and from there mm -hmm. um, we parked on the side with the playgrounds but you can park <laughs> on the side with all that and be closer to it but be prepared for sticker shock on uh, ice cream around here i don't know you think as cold as it gets up here ice cream wouldn't be that much but <laughs> we paid about 10 bucks for a cone the other day and then i was like well we came here and we thought well there's ice cream here too so I checked the prices and yeah, it's still about 10 bucks. <laughs> She's dying to show you these buttons. So you need to be super excited when you see <laughs> Put on my excited face. <laughs> she spent like 30 minutes over here when they were kids. We're coming, we're coming. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. See, as far as stuff for kids, I've got obviously this. There you go around, playgrounds. Uh, they have a steam and a gas train. Alaska Centennial Center for the Arts. There's an air museum over here. taking a lunch break. Pretty sure Denali's over here somewhere. We've definitely seen glimpses of what we think is Denali. What kind of tacos we got today? <laughs> they look like tacos. I have chicken and rice casserole or mm -hmm. sandwich. See the ones with all the snow back behind those mountains? Mm -hmm. That's where we're going. Way back in there. Or actually we may go in over here and then it zigzags back in there. Denali, are you kissing that bighorn sheep? <laughs> <laughs> we made it! Yeah. yeah! So first impressions are important, and uh, Denali's made a pretty good first impression. Beautiful drive coming in here. This has been one of those national parks that I've been so excited about getting to, so it just doesn't even feel real when you're finally here. It's so beautiful, I can't wait to explore because we are so far from our hometown. I don't even know how many thousands of miles. <laughs> Made it to Raleigh Campground. Um, they've got 
free water dump station. So even if you're staying to the other campgrounds on the area, you can come here, because this is the only one for the park from what I understand. We also got to register down here before we can get a site. We're arriving pretty early in the day, so we're hoping that's gonna give us a better choice of sites. So Marissa's gone over there to grab a site, and I am filling up with water. Huge dump station though, A plus on that. So one thing you need to know about Denali National Park. Number one, it is absolutely beautiful. Number two, it is a very complex, complicated park. It's like decoding this place. So we sucked it in. We got in a spot. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, it's pretty tight. There's a few different campgrounds in the National Park. Riley Creek is the one right by the visitor center when you first come in the park. They've got a system where they have A, B, and C sites. So A is your larger sites. B is what we have and it's for 31 feet and less, which were 31 feet exactly. So we're definitely big boned fitting in the smaller spots. And then C is gonna be your, your tent sites. Do you know you're in Alaska? Uh-huh. Hey, that's a cool frog. Do you know that they have really cool frogs at this park? Uh -huh. That they freeze, they're called wood frogs, and they freeze in the winter. They produce like an antifreeze, and they stay frozen in the winter, and then they thaw out in the summer. And that they it, know? yes they do. And then they unfreeze in the summer and start hopping around. Isn't that cool? My frogs are not cold. Oh, your frogs aren't frozen? They're not the wood frog then. Hopefully we'll see one. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh-huh. Can you get a... <laughs> like a glove. Woo! Yeah, this is tight. <laughs> We're driving around, we're like, oh, we can fit into that, we can fit into that, fit into that. Well, it turns out, we started looking at, oh, there's A's and B's, and we're a B. We realized, oh, the B's are looking pretty tight. <laughs> like, sometimes we're like, oh, it says 30 feet, but just bring a 35 in, you're good. Like, no, like in here, I would say 31 is really close to what you're gonna get in here. Clearly, we got here early in the day. There was maybe three sites I maybe could have got into. This is one of the easier ones. <laughs> So we got in. Definitely get here early because it, even though you've got a reservation, it's a first come, mm. first serve picking out your site. Yeah. And then if you're like us and you're on the larger end of, of that range, you, you might be very limited in what you can fit in, but we made it. So we did see some 40 footers in here and I was like, wow, they got that in here, but there's 40 foot sites. They're just all in the same area. Usually like your long sites are like in a separate area from your short sites, but they're all just kind of blended. Yeah, there'd be no awning for us. The moose we saw were just right down this road, actually. Maybe uh, we'll see them again. Yes, I heard you see lots of moose in this mm. campground. They've actually had a couple chargings, they said recently, so give them their space. <laughs> just FYI. <laughs> if you see a moose, you gotta give it its... That's right. Well, the worst part is a driver, and I guess it's your ego as a guy, you're backing in and like, I mean, this is a loop, so everybody's coming in the loop. And I saw two vehicles come in, I knew, okay, they're gonna have to be waiting while I'm backing in, watching me back in, because we watched a guy back in over here on the caribou loop or whatever it is, and he was just back in, back in, back in, back in, eventually he just gave up, because there was like a line of us behind him <laughs> trying to get through on the loop, because he was blocking it, trying to get into his sight, just like me. And so he just gave up and pulled around and let us go, and I guess he's gonna try it again, because his family stayed there. But yeah, you, um, you get to test your backing up skills here too. <laughs> So this looks kind of weird, like I could have came over more, but we have swinging doors in the back. And so my goal was to get this door. I did not want to forget about it or let the wind catch it and then hit the Airstream. So this door does come open all the way without hitting the Airstream. Whether or not I'll pull that off every time we bring the van in, who knows? <laughs> Probably not. And so when you're making reservations and trying to get into Denali, you've mainly got three campgrounds. You've got Teklanika, you've got Savage, and you've got Riley. And so in my mind, if you want to experience the raw nature of Denali, and be able to drive into the park as much as possible, um, I think Teklanik is 
the best out of the three if you're looking for that kind of an experience. Uh, if you want to stay sort of connected, have access to some decent trails, and you want to say have cell signal, I would say that Raleigh is going to be the best. If you want to get a little bit of something in between the two, then Savage I think is a good bet. We did get lucky and got tech for a three-night reservation, but we wanted more than that. So we're actually making two different visits here. We drove down from Fairbanks to here. It's a two, two and a half hour drive for these three knots we've got now in Raleigh. And then in about a week, two weeks, we're going to come back. And we're going to do Teklanika. Um, and that's where we're going to use the bus more and all that kind of thing to go deeper into the park. And this is another one of those situations where I'm thankful for our lithium batteries because we've definitely been in like wooded environments like this. And we're having to like look for sites that get more sun or less sun. This is actually decent. <laughs> we lucked out, but I had no choice. I mean, I wasn't like looking for a non-shaded site. I was just looking for something I could fit into. One less thing to think about. It's still so weird that it's like 9 p.m. I know, it's hard to like <laughs> wind down. <laughs> That's the hardest part. Like if we get in the back in the dark, like where we got it like secluded and kind of dark in the back of our <laughs> RV, like you can trick yourself after 30 minutes or so. But if you're sitting in the living room where it's like this, like crazy bright, and then immediately try to go to sleep, it's a little tricky. It is. And it really messes with Hensley. I mean, I don't know when she's going to go to sleep. She's like skipping around. It's going to be a long night. So we've been looking at the park. I mean, this is a, it's a big park. It Not is. as many trails maybe as what we're used to because I think there's a lot of wilderness. So I guess if you want to do the wilderness thing for days on end, you could do some you stuff. You kind of but... make your own trails, if that makes sense. Or you can do, um, with Ranger, you can do some off trail stuff with Rangers mm. here. And I just figured out where all these cars came from. These are all cars that couldn't fit in their campsite. That's what uh, this is. This is overflow. <laughs> She's still just skipping along. <laughs> it temperature dropped like, uh, I don't know, what'd you say about 10, 15 degrees seems like from where we were? Definitely. Hensley, change of plans. Let's go this way. <laughs> it's too windy out here. Let's go in the tree cover. Don't you tell me you can't walk back up here now. <laughs> Let's go walk near the trees. Oh my goodness. Now you're skipping uphill. You do know skipping is not the most efficient way to hike, right? <laughs> oh, now you want to be carried. She skips around and then five minutes later is too tired to walk. <laughs> all or nothing. Shortest walk of all time. Your chicken from Chicken Alaska? Oh, it's <laughs> is that a pecking tactic? me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't actually hit it. Don't, oh, Hensley. <laughs> we aren't big on making reservations, but I think looking back, this is the one place we probably would have made a reservation just here, just because it is so difficult to get into. And you can get cancellations. So there are cancellations, but there's not many. They'll tell you that to comfort you, but it's, well, you, it's, it's harder hard. than it sounds. Obviously, you can't find them in a row. Yeah, it's, it's tough. If you, if you know you want specific dates in an extended period of time, I definitely would recommend it because now we're, we're kind of having to break it up a little bit, which is still going to be cool. We're still going to get to get in the places we wanted to, but it's just going to be a little more inconvenient, I guess. But. Well, we are going to call it a night. <laughs> Hensley's not going to sleep anytime soon. I'm going to sleep later. You're going to go to sleep later? <laughs> How much later? Not too much later. We're going to sleep in the dark. Oh, but you want to wait until it gets dark? But it doesn't get dark? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be waiting a while, kid. But well, we are going to uh, wind down somehow, and uh, we will catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. <laughs> nice mustache. <laughs> <laughs>